we are taking a road trip to Texas. Currently we are in Arizona, which is about three hours from LA, and we still got still got about seven hours and 40 minutes to go until we get into El Paso, Texas. <laughs> so we are finally here. Tonight we're staying in El Paso, Texas. We, you know, made this spontaneous decision to come out here to check out Austin. Really just to like have fun. We're not, we don't have any expectations. I know we mentioned possibly house hunting over here, but um, we don't have anything lined up. We're just keeping our options completely open and just enjoying the city. So can't wait to take you along with us. And We are staying here at the Lion Hotel. So this is our view outside of the window, which is really nice. Having dinner tonight at Emmer and Rye, which is in an hour and a half. So we're gonna go downstairs and check out the pool and stuff before we head out to dinner. And then hopefully we feel rejuvenated after we move and stretch a little bit. It is humid, as you can see. My camera is all fogged up. thoughts being here so far obviously we haven't seen anything but I feel like I'm in LA <laughs> totally I feel like I'm in LA right now I do not feel like I'm in Texas in Nashville I felt like I was in Nashville yeah it felt different good morning so we are having brunch today at Josephine's house Did you guys drive around much after we left? We did, and that we like the area. You know, it's it's very nice. You know, Mike has done a great job at, at getting the house where it is. You know, I think once that house is actually lived in and you know, put your own touch on it, it it'll definitely change the dynamic there. And, and it just felt right. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, I always recommend going back and spending some more time. Um, just to kind of walk it, make it, you know, just get comfortable again. Uh, but it's completely up to you guys. Yeah, I think we did want to go back and see it tomorrow during sunset hour. Okay, that's perfect. Cool. just want to update you guys on the status of everything basically the house that we saw yesterday Nate and I both fell in love with we took some time to write letters to the seller today by the pool and we're kind of just figuring out what to offer fingers crossed if we get this house because it's absolutely a dream this just came so unexpectedly and it's always when you least expect it that you find something. So we just put in the offer 
they have confirmed receipt of the offer and we will keep you posted on anything we hear. We do. I, we do. I was looking at the I was looking at the contract yesterday so the the seller he checked he checked that box. We just submitted our second offer. Yeah, it's just a very exciting and nerve-wracking process. Just got to wait and see. <laughs> oh my god. We got it, babe. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going to cry. I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is absolutely perfect. So I've got a couple things for you to initial um, that I'll send over later this afternoon. Okay. And um, and then I'll give you next steps too. We'll just have to uh, send a check or wire um, to title. Perfect. And um, yeah, that's it. I know. So, so congratulations. Stoked. Oh my God! Thank you so We're, much. Thank, thank you so much, Ross. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very happy. We are very happy for you guys. Yeah. Very good. We trust you and trust Remy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Okay, mom. Bye. Bye.